Welcome back to the Vogue Auto Group YouTube channel. I'm bringing you a 2018 John Cooper Works Mini today. Now, I've never driven a Mini or even actually been in a Mini, which is quite surprising to be honest. I know there's lots of die-hard Mini fans out there, but they speak for themselves. I'm gonna take her for a spin and see what she's all about. Right, so then, first time in a Mini. First time I've ever been in a Mini. Obviously there's a lot of die-hard Mini fans out there in the world and I'm not going to upset them today, but I'm going to see what my first impressions are of a Mini. Obviously this is like one of the best ones that you can get because it is a John Cooper Works edition um, compared to just a normal Mini, but let's see what she's all about. They are quite small in it, but not actually as small as what I had originally thought. I know obviously the older ones, like the original ones, are very small. But this isn't actually too bad. It feels very comfortable in here. There is a few different things that are extras in this car that are nice little additions. So we've got like a Bluetooth pack, we've got a compartment pack which in here you can pop your phone. It's not a bad little cockpit to be fair. It's a two litre auto, a bit weird but I'm sure it's very nice. Um, the steering wheel first impressions feels very premium. It's a nice size, very nice interior. It's got the interior lights pack as well which is around this circular centre bit whatever that is. Not that I've noticed. I don't think there's any other lights anywhere else. Yeah let's get started up. Sticker into drive. It's got a good old handbrake. You know I like a handbrake. Oh, it sounds good. I'm not gonna lie, I was half expecting this car to feel a bit like the Abarth inside. Now, don't come at me. I was half expecting it to feel a little bit tin canny inside because that was what the Abarth's like. Like, the Abarth, you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to drive that car for a long time. It's not the best in that department, that's for sure. Um, it's definitely a quick run around car, you know, run about town, short journeys. Um, you really wouldn't want to go that far in the Abarth. Whereas this, uh, it still depo feels, you know, like you, you're low to the ground, it's quite stiff, but it's a lot more of a comfortable ride and it's nowhere near as loud in here. Uh, the road noise isn't as loud. Um, it's just a lot more comfortable than the Abarth, not gonna lie. As much as I love the Abarth, um, it's not a very comfortable car. Whereas this just feels a lot more premium and a lot nicer to drive and this steering wheel is beautiful like the steering's so tight and precise the seating position is actually really comfy as well which i'm surprised about i was expecting to feel quite cooped up which i did in the abarth it actually feels quite roomy in the leg area and it feels quite spacious around like where the steering wheel is and all that kind of stuff so yeah it feels very pleasant Always a winner too, it's got heated seats on both sides, which is always nice. It's nice and pokey this car, like it's got a good response to the accelerator pedal. The pedal's quite short too, which I quite like, so you don't have to press it very far in for it to actually do something. Be interested to see how a manual version of this would drive, but I'm thankful for the auto, it's very nice. I'd definitely say that this car is swaying me on the Mini front. I've never been interested in Minis whatsoever. Um, yeah, just never been bothered. But, like I say, I just always thought they were pretty small. But, it surprised me. It's, uh, it feels really nice. It feels like a nice size and it doesn't feel small at all. And the boot's actually not too bad, which is a bonus. I think some people think this car is a bit of a gimmick, but I like all the different bits inside of it. It just makes it different, doesn't it? So the way that the dash is, is completely different to any other car I've been in, you know, with that big center circle display, um, with the 
two little clocks with the fuel gauge on the side. It's just like very well thought about to make it a different car. And another thing I've noticed too is that with the dash and everything, when you look at it, you can tell exactly what everything is straight away rather than wondering which one's the rev counter, which one's, you know, mile per hour on a quick glance. They're very different so you know what it is that you're looking at. Also when it comes to the key as well, mini keys are just notorious. You know what a mini key is straight away. Obviously it's a button to start so you don't have an actual key but they're just like so iconic aren't they minis? I'm going to flicker into sport. Yeah you notice that straight away it gets a lot stiffer. The steering's gone a lot stiffer and I heard the sound of the car change as well. Oh my god. She does make some noise. Now I expected this car that because of the seating position you're in, obviously you're quite low, um, you feel like you're at one with the car if that makes sense. But I imagine throwing this around a track day or something like that would be absolute heaven. The steering feels like it'd just be mega around a track, you know like it just feels like just well I suppose responsive is the only word for it to be honest but it just has such a nice feel like it just goes exactly where you want it to which is what you want of a car obviously love it it sounds mint I don't know if you can hear it but it sounds bloody mint noticed which is actually pretty cool is that the indicator doesn't actually like stay on you like give it a good shove to one way and then it stays on and once you go around the turn it then cancels on its own so there's no worry of having to wonder about like you haven't got the worry of leaving your indicator on because it already knows you've gone round because it, it doesn't actually like stay on I don't know if that makes it pretty good that's a, that's a nice little touch that that would have helped me in my driving test in my first driving test that would have helped me out loads but here we are past second time though dinner the wheels that come on this car are actually pretty different to what I've seen before they're 18 inch cup spoke alloys and they have almost like a bit of a bubbliness to them uh, rather than like a sort of flat alloy you know like the profile if that makes sense so it kind of has a bit of a like bubble to it it's just i've never noticed but it just looks really cool a bit different to just standard alloys Vogue are always getting all kinds of cool cars in so obviously they've got this john cooper works mini in they've just had another one in previously they got the 440m sport that was in my last video they've got a 6 series m sport too They've got a little orange MG which is really cute. Yeah, they're getting all kinds of stuff in, like really cool cars. They've got a Bentley Continental as well. How could I forget about that? That is a beautiful car. If you are interested in selling your car, then get in touch with Vogue because they're always interested. That 440 that was in the last video was actually a part X for a caddy. So that customer brought the 4 Series to Vogue saying they wanted to trade it in for a caddy which is obviously less money so money went their way for the 4 series and they got a caddy which is what they wanted so yeah if you're interested in doing something like that or you just want to sell your car then obviously get in touch with Vogue and they'll make it a doddle for you but as well if you're looking to buy a new car and you want something a little bit more special then Vogue's the place to go for that too so check out their website and see what stock they've got in they've always got new stuff coming in Hope you've enjoyed this video on this 2018 John Cooper Works Mini. I've proper enjoyed driving it. If you are interested in buying this car, it is priced at 19,995, which is a cracking price for this car. And the mileage is super low. It's only got 18,000 miles. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.